I heartily welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the Crompton Trading Company, the very first and the all new ZF aftermarket integrated sale and service center at Bengaluru. Come on, we have to have a huge round of applause for this because this is India's first ZF integrated sale and service outlet that too in Bengaluru. So yes, I heartily welcome once again all of you present here for this beautiful evening. So yes, let's go back to Burma, you know, like Burma Automobiles was first started in 1918 at Burma by K.N. Bata. 1918, it's a very long journey to go back. And in India, it was established in the year 1965 by Krishnalal K. Bata. And uh, now coming, this is an auspicious day because this is India's first ZF integrated center which is at Bengaluru. So yes, in India, it was established in the year 1965 by Krishnalal K. Bata. It was established as a proprietary concern in the name of Burma Automobiles. As we all know, Burma Automobiles is a brand by itself. And now, since inception, we are the pioneer in automobiles be part of Bedford HM, Jeep, Military Nissan, Shakti Man and Ambassador. Within a couple of years, it started dealing with defense units, Army and Air Force. Burma was awarded with the gold medal in 1988. Come on, we have a huge round of applause for this. In 98, 1988, Burma was awarded with the gold medal by Institute of Self-Defense and National Character of Quality and Fair Prize. Today, Burma Automobiles has turned into Burma Group of Companies, that is the legend Burma Groups. And it consists of Burma Automotive Private Limited, Crompton Trading Company, Sri Metal and Sriji Enterprise and Burma Automobiles. So yes, and for this today's auspicious day, we have guests of honor from ZF who have joined us. Heartly welcome you, sir. That is Mr. Philip Colbron, Executive Vice President and Global Head for ZF Aftermarket. Welcome, sir. And we have P. Kanyapun, Managing Director, ZF Commercial Vehicle Control Systems India Limited. Welcome, sir. And we have Mr. Ramachandra Puttana, Indian Regional Sales Head Aftermarket. Welcome, sir. So yes, once again, I have to welcome you all to this beautiful and auspicious day. Can we have a huge round of applause before starting this program? Thank you. So yes, yaude ondo sundar vadan ta karya krama tu world shubharamba madhu kumunche devra na nilsodu na mellara shubharamba madhu kinda devra ondo prarthani madhu do na mellara sampradaya. We have Jayanti and team for invocation with a huge round of applause. Let's get the blessings of the Almighty. I request Jayanti and team to please come on to the dais for the prayer. Hello. Jai Shri Ganesh. Jai Shri Ganesh. Sukha karta, dukha harta, vata vikna chi, nuravi puravi prem krupa jayanchi, sarvangi sunda, rauti shendura chi, kanti zalke mal mukta palanchi, jay dev, jay dev, jay mangal murti, darshan mate mana kamana purti, jay dev, jay dev, ratna kachita para tu zagauri kuvara, Chandana chi uti kumkuma keshara Hire zadita mukuta shobha to bhara Runa zunati nupure charani ghagariya Jai dev, jai dev Jai dev, jai dev, jai mangala murti Darshan marte mana ka mana purti Jai dev, jai dev लंबोदर पीतांबर फणिवर बंधना सरल सुंड वक्र तुंड त्रीनयना दास्त्रामाचा वट्पाय सदना संकट पावावे निर्वाणी रक्षावे सुरवर वंदना जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय मंगल मूर्ति दर्शन माते माना कामना मूर्ति जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय मंगल मूर्ति दर्शन माते माना कामना मूर्ति जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव थैंक यू सो मच वंस अगेन सो यस सिवा का देव ना प्रार्थित आए तो Deep on a Belgo Mulaka Ivatina Karakamaki Chan in Nirana. So, yes, I request uh, Mr. Philip Kolpron, please come on to the Dias, sir, and P. Kanyapun, so please come on to the Dias, and Mr. Ram Chandra Puttana. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
next, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Ramit R. Bata, Director of Burma Group of Companies, and Mr. Rajan Bata, Managing Director of Burma Group of Companies, to deliver the welcome note. With a huge round of applause, let's welcome Mr. Ramit R. Bata and Rajan Bata. Good afternoon, everybody, and warm welcome to Mr. Phillips, Mr. Karyapan, Ram Chandra, Putana sir, and our esteemed guests. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you on this inaugural of ZF Integrated and Sales and Service and Training Center. Our journey actually started in 1965 with a very small shop on the end of this corner. Uh, we, my daddy, who started this and uh, they, we were there for 20 years uh, uh, with only two people working in our showroom uh, and, but we were working with only OEMs and OE parts. That time supply of OE items were not proper means we were not getting genuine item in the market. We were getting only uh, some replacement markets available from Delhi side and all that but it was very difficult from that time we had I had a aim okay we work with only OEMs and with OE parts so and I got this chance to get into because of Kalyapan sir and that to get into ZF and it's thankful from all my customers who has helped me to grow at this level now I'll hand over my mic to Amit. He will take it further. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So sorry. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for coming. Thank you, thank you, sir, for making it. Really, it's a huge privilege and an honor to have you present. Uh, today we gather here to the inaugurate to inaugurate the first of its kind ZF aftermarket integrated sales service and trading center. This is a one-stop shop for all your to the few who may not know much about ZF. Here is a brief introduction. ZF is a global technology company. The uh, company supplying systems to passenger cars, commercial vehicles, and industrial technology enabling the next generation of mobility. ZF allows vehicles to see, think, and act. In the four technology domains of vehicle motion control, integrated safety, automated driving, and electric mobility, ZF offers, offers a comprehensive products and softwares to established manufacturers and newly emerging transport and mobility providers. With the products, the company contributes to reducing emission, protecting the environment, and enhancing safety. Under the ZF umbrella, there are a wide range of spare parts products, such as Satch, Lymphoda, TRW, and Vapco. We, we at Crown Trading Company have been associated with Vapco since 2009. We started as a small service center, then over time, became a retailer and today we are proud to say that we are a ZF distributor and this could have only been achieved with the help of the company. Thank you. And this building that we all are present in together right now stands as a symbol that we at Crompton will hold up the high quality standards and the ideals set by ZF Aftermarket. We inaugurate this building today to give our customers a one-stop shop for all their requirements, such as easy accessibility and availability of spare parts, providing an environment that will give opportunities and training to drivers, mechanics, and retailers from all backgrounds. Uh, from all backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. Apart from this, this will provide will be giving an area where we can have events such as this you know to launch new products and incidentally two days ago we were at one of the events by ZF aftermarket where they launched a new a T3 
TRW Breaking System Portfolio, where we launched the very first TRW Breaking Fluid, Fluid, Brake Fluid, sorry, yeah, Brake Fluid. And uh, given after the launch, we are proud to say that we'll be one of the, f we'll be the first ones to introduce this product into the Karnataka market. And as we take a tour, and as we take a tour, of this building, you will see that you will get to see, hold and understand more about this product and its quality. I would like to again thank all of you for making it to this event. I hope all of you take with you exciting and lasting memories and I once and thank you again for coming, taking time out of your busy schedule and making it to this event. Thank you very much and may God bless you all. Yes, we have all the three generation of Batas. Can we have a huge round of applause for all the three generation of Batas? Thank you so much, sir. So yes, now it's time for the felicitation. I would request our Bata family to please come on to the ask to felicitate our most Philip Colbron. In our traditional way, Nama Samskutiya Prakara Hara Akya Aurge Sanmana Manodu. So yes, I would request uh, Mr. Philip Colbron, sir, to please accept it. Can we have a huge round of applause for him? Huge round of applause to Mr. Philip Colpron. Thank you so much for marking your presence for this beautiful day, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, now I'd request P. Kanyapan, sir, to please accept the felicitation. We want a group up and sir. Thank you so much for marking your presence for this evening, sir. Next, I would like to welcome us for Mr. Ramachandra Putana, sir. So it's once again a huge round of applause for all the dignitaries. Let's welcome Mr. Philip Kalpran. So now you look like the king of Bangalore, sir. Now you are the king of Bangalore. You have to address the audience with the same attitude. I'm talking or in keeping this on my shoulders. You know, it's so nice to be back in Bangalore. Like, it's been two years I was here last time. I was planning to be there just three months after, and you guys know what happened in the last two years. And fresh breeze compared to Chennai. You know, it's, it's extremely exciting. And on the way here, I remember that last time I was supposed to come was also for inauguration, but that I could not do physically. I had to do virtually on our uh, engineering center, our digital solution center, just a few blocks from here. And what was really nice, getting here, first of all, thank you very much, Mr. Bata, Rajan and Hamid for welcoming us. I'm very proud. I was so proud driving here, looking at all the shops, all the store, and by far looking at one and say, oh, that one looks like a nice one. Oh, that's where we're going. And very, very proud of being here tonight. And of course, who talks about Bangalore? What about the traffic of Bangalore, right? <laughs> and it just makes you think of how vibrant the city is, how vibrant the country is, but also how much evolution will happen on the mobility. Who speaks mobility? You know, traffic, vehicles, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, trucks, mobility. What will happen with the future mobility? And what will happen to the aftermarket and the maintenance of those vehicles? Well, one can say, hey, there's a lot of things about the future, but let's focus on the present. And I agree, because there's a lot of things that we need to make sure we continue to do well. And there's a lot of things that we can bring today 
but on the other hand, let's make sure we do the right thing to be prepared for tomorrow. And this is our pledge at ZF Aftermarket towards the market that serves the mobility ecosystem. How can we make sure we do the best to help you today and for the years to come on the products and the vehicles that are in operations in a market like India, but at the same time help to get ready towards the mobility of tomorrow? And the aftermarket will go through a lot of change. Yes, vehicles will have new technologies, sometimes more complex, requiring more know-how. Electrification will come along the way. We will have software. Oh, and Rajiv here just is the leading the software center not that far. So in case you have any issues with software, you can no, go knock on his door. Um, but um, so, so this is what we need to get ready. On the other hand, a lot of legacy technologies will have to continue being very competitive for the next 20 years. And this is what we're working on as well with our very strong Indian footprint that we are very proud of. And the aftermarket will not only change due to the vehicles, the landscape is going through, through you know, evolution. And this tour for me is a very great example. How are we integrating the realities of the needs of tomorrow in a changing dynamics? You all know how everybody in the street now is going around with their mobile phones and how are they using it in the business of the aftermarket? We want to help, we want to be in touch in terms of making sure we can continue into that field. So this is, this is also what we need to understand. Vehicles will change, the networks and the dynamics of the country will change in India in its own way. Um, but we're all here in the end to serve. We're all here together to serve in the end the, the mobility users. Either the individual vehicle driver, either the fleets and fleets growing in importance where we want to make sure that through the mechanics, through the installers, through the shops, through the services, we can have a more integrated service offer. And I think this is what also it stands for, making sure we're having parts, making sure we're having support, making sure we're having installation to make sure that the fleets of tomorrow can continue operating increasingly safe. Safety is a core value of our solutions that we grow our efficiency on one side in terms of impact on the planet, on the other side delivering total cost of ownership or reduced cost for the people that operate the vehicles. And in the end, easier life. Convenience, convenience in work, you know, easier, the more uptime, uh, easier operations, integrated services to make sure that it just gets easier and easier to work together and to serve the mobility users. So. So this is what we want to do. This is the pledge that we're having for ZF Aftermarket and the launch that we're doing here today. Not only we want to bring all the brands for the first time together under one umbrella, all the ZF brands that serve um, the aftermarket in India, Saks, Lemferder, Wapco, TRW, ZF itself, plus, you know, this is just a few, we have more all the brands portfolio on the, on the one roof for the first time, but then increase in integrated services in terms of catalogs, in terms of diagnostics, even in terms of fleet management solutions, connectivity and software portals. All of that available on the one roof because we believe it's important to connect the dots. It's important to leverage the fact that you're having holistic solutions to create more value. And that value for the end users, the value for the fleets, for the mechanics, comes in partnerships. And I'm so happy and proud uh, that the Compton Trading Company understands that. How can we co-invest into the future, making sure that we have, can have integrated solution under one roof just to create more value into the market. So thank you very much. Mr. Bata, Rajan, Hamid, once again. Thank you for igniting the spark here in Bangalore. Thank you for shaping the future of aftermarket through this initiative. A first in Bangalore, a first in India, and I can say through this concept, maybe a first in the world as well. And, can, and I can assure you that the team here is all here, dedic you know, motivated and dedicated to support you in your endeavor. This is a first milestone and I'm pretty sure that you will just be discovering more and more services and value you will be able to bring into the market. I'm very proud. I'm very proud to be invited. 
thank you very much. I'm proud to be uh, having so much audience and being, you know, uh, hosted by you into this city. I will be back and hoping to discover much more. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. So yes, sir. Uh, next, I would like to welcome Mr. P. Kanyapun, sir, to address the audience with a huge round of applause. Let's welcome Mr. Kanyapun, sir. Good evening. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today. Um, Bangalore is not uh, new to me. I actually, for a brief period, I was living here. I worked in TVS Motor, so I sometimes stayed in Bangalore. And uh, a large part of my academic career I spent in Karnataka. I graduated from C. Suratkal. So, uh, so for all practical purposes, I'm a part of this, uh, this state. So I'm very happy to be here today. Um, particularly on this uh, very important and um, auspicious occasion. Um, a few years ago, what was started as a, an authorized service center, you have evolved as a, uh, you know, a major initiative for, for us and for you, I'm sure. Um, I wish you all success, um, you know, uh, together. You know, in that uh, few days meeting, we said together in motion, you know, so we will succeed uh, together and we'll make this partnership as a win-win partnership. Uh, in multiple ways, I believe this is uh, uh, the best initiative that you've taken. Number one, because in the automotive industry, uh, in the aftermarket uh, distribution system, I have some 12 years experience. I took, uh, I, I became the CEO of Vapco in 2009. So ever since uh, I'm observing the industry, you know, in those days, it used to be only a parts distribution. And then you have a, a distributor, dealer, the sales outlets, and then mechanics, you know, that is the ecosystem. And essentially, the success depends on how you are able to distribute the parts. And the service is largely handed, left to the, the mechanic and the roadside people to handle. That was working because uh, till, I would say, 2010, India was not actually in the technology evolution. The commercial vehicle industry or most of the industry in India was actually, of course car industry was already became global by the time, two-wheeler became global, but commercial vehicle was more Indian. But then from 2010, the, the transformation started, technology became a differentiator. So the servicing became an important aspect of the business. Your ability to really, really handle the service, around that only the business started building, so further, you know, now today we are dealing, like Philip and everybody said, we are talking about a completely new world where it is a connected vehicles, connected world. We can actually, the vehicle talks to the next vehicle, talks to the ecosystem. You know the, you know, the fast track system through which how the whole system moves. In this world, the, the, the requirements are different. Today, the, the expectations are different. The, the concept of uh, subscription-based business in the aftermarket, you know, it's uh, the business models are more like uh, uh, pay per use or transport as a service. These things have started coming. If you know the most recently, the government of India electric vehicle, the, about 5,500 buses they have given in the tender, but there it is not the vehicle people are paying for. Per kilometer, how much you have, you have to pay? How much low you are able to pay? Those people get the business. So in this ecosystem, again, you get a completely a new opportunity to succeed because you you take the responsibility to maintain those vehicles at the best possible cost, which again uh, will be a difficult for you to succeed. Because today morning, Philip, myself, we all had a meeting with the MD of uh, KSRTC. Exactly, that's the dimension they are looking at. How you can help us? How you can reduce or reduce the reduce the road accidents? How you can reduce the operating cost, etc.? This completely provides an excellent opportunity to really succeed. From that perspective, what you are creating here is the right initiative uh, 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 in the right time. Another way, another way is uh, our own our own company. If you look at it, was Sundram Clayton. So we were doing only braking system with the local technology that we had. Then we from Sundram Clayton we moved to Vapco. Then we became vehicle control systems. Apart from braking, we, we had uh, AMTs, suspension controls, transmission controls, and so many things. Now we are ZF. ZF is complete vehicle, complete vehicle. Not only trucks, not only buses, 
cars three wheeler two wheeler anything you want to do from up, up, after market perspective you have the you have the possibility to serve the industry and uh, again like philip said now it, it was not it, it's not only vapco brand now you have a, a sax brand lamboard lamforder you have a zf brand trw multiple range of highly powerful brand in the automotive ecosystem you are in a position to take it and serve the market which i am sure will be the you know will give you a complete uh, great opportunity to, to grow again your another biggest su- success i am sure is your your, um, your son and daughter are actually in the with you as a family you are growing this business i think you have a strong emotional connect to the business i wish you all the success thank you Thank you so much for sharing your valuable words, sir. So now I would request to Mr. Ramchandra Putana, sir, to please come on to the dais and share a few words with the audience. So I, I, I was just talking about from where Mega left and then start from there on, and I, I very clearly remember that she was talking about the history of Burma automobiles from 1912 onwards. Congratulations to you, sir, and to you as because very difficult to have a company running successfully. for such a long period i'll just give you some small statistics in the automobile component industry as of today there are less than 6 companies which are more than 100 years old yeah and give a big applause to the company called zf which has got a history of a century today in in the in the present landscape of business the average age of an auto component industry is around 30 35 years you have reached this. and then you have a problem of a product a problem of a technology you have problem of money you have problem of succession you have somebody taking over you there are many many parameters many functions that works on the business and thereby you find that many companies are they suddenly vanish from the thin air so a big applause to to burma for continuing and to, to take this further as well this is very very important second point that i just want to also bring in the concept that we were envisaging in terms of why we were looking forward for a place where everybody can buy any product that fits into the the requirement of an auto component by the way let me put the words like this zf today manufactures all the parts required to manufacture a vehicle we only don't make a vehicle yeah so we have that strength that you name the part brake pad i've got it brake disc i've got it shock absorber i've got it transmission i've got it braking i've got it do you make a vehicle i don't need the vehicle make a vehicle vehicle somebody makes it but i give all parts for this vehicle that's that's the that's the concept that's the strength of the brand that you're all getting associated and why is that we're taking this forward with our own business partners on 23 varsha hinde namma soap thomba andre on angdi hogta ide ya ame tarkari inno angdi hogta ide akki ge inno angdi hogta ide so morning i would leave at 8 o'clock and then come back home at 4 o'clock why because i would go to eight different shops to buy eight different items and then come back home today do we go to any of the local kirana shops we don't go we all go to dmart yeah we go to the place why because dmart houses everything in one roof you find the convenience to spend 2 hours go buy your total list of household and then come out why people go to metro cash and carry yeah it is because everything is available in the same shop same place convenience of purchase what we are trying to create is that customer experience instead you are going to 10 different shops on the nro jc road and then try to find out whether it is correct not correct big small correct part number wrong part number old specifications new specifications fitta gatta agalla mechanics told us when i said this no need at all everything is in house you have a technical guy available here you have got drawings with you you have got cut sections as you go up and see what i'm talking is what we are already putting in practice you can see working models find out whether this is exactly what you want and then buy a product in one same place and then go back to your place as a mechanic or as a shopkeeper or as a customer we are sir let me put it more arrogantly making money is a very easy way yeah 
but creating a customer experience is all that we are looking forward for we we want that end of the day one must buy the required product take it fit it in his vehicle be absolutely comfortable to say this is zf branded one means it sure talks about 100% quality satisfies what i'm looking forward for and i bought from rajan which means it is perfect in terms of pricing transparency and approach that's the type of feeling that we want to take we want we want to create or this is the thinking that we all came when we started this if i go into metro i go into dmart for sometimes it is as if i'm spending my 2 hours of evening to you know it's it's a enjoyment you know shopping should is enjoyment when you go to dmart how the halwa halwa going to the kirana shop is it an, is it a shopping enjoyment no it's a transaction business but you go to dmart you you like you enjoy the shopping attitude because you see different items you see different product you, it may not be in your list but suddenly oh mane beka ke dapa upa kon kon wala you go and buy salt from there yeah that's the strength of dmart you you create experience of shopping and if that can happen in a in a white good product or maybe uh, in in a uh, fmg product why cannot this happen for our own automobile friends who are actually running this nation up and down yeah and this is our first i would say honest initiative to take this forward all this is possible only if the customers like you help us to build this up progress it show that and demonstrate that this works so so i would again uh request and uh, and uh, hope that whatever that we have tried in a very small way uh, is suitable for you this may not be the, the the best that we could have thought please give your feedback very very important for us this is a, a running journey we are very open our our intent is to to give you a better customer experience so please be open tell your feedback give an experience of what you are feeling through and we will try to also improvise it thank you once again and uh, all the best to you thank you sir for making the audience interactive i have to say you are the real energy booster thank you once again jora chapade varle so yes next i would like to welcome mishabat director of burma group of companies to address the gathering huge round of applause for mishabat such an honor to host such incredible guest especially i want to thank um mr philip colpron the executive vice of uh, president sorry vice president and the head of global aftermarket mr p kanyapan the managing director of zia commercial vehicle control system and mr ram chandra putanam hi sir uh, the head of aftermarket india I would like to thank all you present here for taking out your time to enjoy this festival a festival event and thank you for all the valued customers for being here today and also this event didn't just it took a very long time to get to this point right now so thank you all the departments for uh, working so hard and um, working so hard and uh, and having such a uh, and I'm oh, sorry required words i give you for details and um we have been fortunate enough to uh, been partnered up with zia and uh, with their team with a dedicated and professional team to help get to where we are right now and it will also help us in the future and uh, thank you and dankisha and uh, thank you so yes uh, thank you so much once again ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಸಿಟಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಗೊತ್ತು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಗಿಡಗಳು ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಈ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಗಿಡ ನೆಡುವ ಮೂಲಕ ಒಂದು ರಿಮೆಂಬರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಇರಲಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಡೇ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್